Good night, everyone. Welcome to the Rapinas Raven 250. And a big thank you to Rapinas Fine Foods. If you want to have something to eat, by golly, go to Rapinas and go get some good tucka. Just like our champion did, hence why he walked in front of us. Check out this food display right here. Absolutely, Look for Rapinas. Tater tot casserole from the Pina, Rapinas. Very and then you good. Got, you got baked barbecue pulled pork right here. Look at that. that. And you got fresh rolls. Homemade sliders. barbecue sauce. And, and you can't beat Rapinas. Rapinas Fine Foods. Go and get a lots of good tucker from them because, after all, they've come been here. around a long, come long here, come time. Here. There's even more. Check Look at this. Out. More over here Look for crying out loud. Homemade see. cinnamon bread from his sister, Rapina's yep. sister. Yep. And with, uh, what is that? I can't pronounce that. Got a car, I believe it is. Crocky, that's a whole other <laughs> language. But either way, it's bloody good. Go to Rapina's. You will not regret it, everyone. They've been around for years and years and years, just like this race has been around for years and years. Dino Bravo, along with, what's your name again? Dan Dan Townsend. Dan Townsend. It's his first poll of the season. I think it's the first poll of the decade for Have Comic Con. It's been a long time. Oh, since he's man, but does he have the crowd around that? The hometown guy, the favorite. Uh, Pete Dorn, it don't count. And here's your championship point leader. John, John, we've been third. Here we have Team Maybelline. And That's Blush. That's Joe Heights. Mike Kristoff. Rouge. Blush. Bill Buck, he's in the points battle. He's not paying attention tonight. He got scolded once already. Here, here's Dan Margetta. Got a new hot rod Lincoln from Carvana. And his arch enemy right there alongside. Right there, the champ. Not a scratch on it, so don't hit nothing. And nope. don't go fast enough. Don't go fast enough. That's Brad Core. <laughs> and my, oh my, Mr. Seven Time. He is having a rough oh, go. Oh, he is. Uh, Who's this guy? Oh, you! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's Lack, Mike, Mike Lack. Lack. Yes, and here's his teammate. Yeah, and Matt Hayek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Steve Riss. The last car looks like Pete Dorn's car, but it's a teammate to Pete Dorn. Another, another CBD guy. We call it a field filler. It's Brian Miller. Rupina's Fine Food presents the Raven 250. This is the last chance qualifier. Last chance qualifier. Yeah, that's Mike Lack. Seven time in it. Matt Hayek, Steve Riss, big time names, and Brian Miller all set to go. Top three move on. The last guy stays and uh, get a word with their leader, Mike Lack, who's in the last chance qualifier. Like, this is not very uh, common for you to be in these last chance qualifiers. What's no. the story? See, that's, that's why I say when everybody thinks I'm sandbagging, it doesn't happen. You're not sandbagging? No. You just suck? Kind of. It's not like Kevin Kogan. He's not too busy to talk to us. He races right as he talks, and he's leading this last chance qualifier. It looks like he will move on to the final. Right now, it looks like Brian Miller will be the car the odd man out. It is the opening heat race of the Rupinas. Oh, oh, big crash there for Pete Dorn coming off of the final turn. So the early lead is Ev over Margetta. Ev Kamakawa come by there in the red car. The blue car is Dan Margetta. And then John Wiedemann, that bright tennis yellow car in third place. Hometown hero, Pete Dorn, having to make up some distance after a crash early. And another one back there in the forest. Oh, and a crash up there for Margetta. And there goes Wiedemann past him for second place. They're going to battle for second now. Dorn has gone past Margetta for third place as he continues to struggle in that green lane. That's it. <laughs> Kamakawa holds on for the win. Wiedemann sits in the transfer spot. Mike Kristoff in the green lane. Dean Strom in the white car and the yellow lane. Brad Kaur in the black and red car in the blue. Mike Lack on the outside in the red lane. They are off and running. And looks like Mike Lack will lead the first lap, followed by Mike Kristoff, Dean Strom, and Brad Kaur. All close. Whoa, somebody went for a ride up there. That was Brad Kaur. Dean Strom has a crash there. Early on, heat race number two. Whoa, that was close right there for Kristoff. You saw that one hanging on the edge. Story in the second half now as Mike Lack leads, but he's in that green lane. He does not like that lane. He is dwindling as Dean Strom and Brad Kaur are uh, right there to challenge. And Lack just had a problem there on the inside. I think Dean Strom just took the lead right there as Lack had a problem right there. There comes Mike Lack. It's over. Dean Strom is your winner. He wins. Heat number two with a great comeback in the second half. We continue to see good close racing here at the Rapina Raven 250. Our leaders, there goes Joe as Bill has a spin there on the back. Final minute of this final heat race. Joe Heights holds little less than a one lap lead over Bill Black. Bill also looking at transfer with still 15 seconds left. Heights holds on 
for the last few seconds here, and he will make another final. And Bill Black has bumped John Wiedemann out of the final. Time to meet your uh, competitors in the Rupinas Raven 250. We're going to start with the guy who just won his last heat race, Joe Heights. Carnage, you're in the final. I am in the final. It's great. Feels good. Now you're in the correct car this week. Yes, my teammate did not steal my faster car and do better than me this time. I mean, you feel pretty confident. You're pretty good now, right? I feel pretty confident to at least finish fourth. He's predicting a top four. Floodgates. <laughs> Floodgates for the top four for Joe Height. This guy hey. is looking to make a statement in the points because you knocked your rival, John Weedman, out of the oh, race. Oh, man, you know, and I wanted the challenge. I wanted to race John, but now there's a new dragon to slay because... Uh, I just couldn't catch Joe in that heat race, so now i got to slay that dragon and beat Joe. We're looking at Joe. What about the other two? Kamakawa's pretty quick, and, and Dean, the, Dean's a champ, you know. Kamakawa is always fast, so, you know. How about Dean? Dean, Dean not so much? You know, I give him the respect of being the current champ. Champ is back in the final, baby. Nice comeback. Thanks. I was just talking to uh, another champ, John Wiedemann. We were comparing notes. How about Bill Black? You think he's a champ? Uh, has he won a championship? Not here, but you know, somewhere else maybe. He thinks he's a champ. Well, then he's not a champ. He got not. That's it. I've won a champion. He hey, said he. You know what? I got a haircut today too. He said he respects you because you're the current champ. Sorry about that. He said he respects you because you're the current champ. Well, that's nice of him to say. That's about all he said. And I am. All right. Woo! The champ is ready to go. Woo! <laughs> And hey, final. Just remember, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Woo! You know what? <laughs> I'm the man, baby. We gotta find that Kamakawa guy. He's hiding. I don't know where he is. Well, let me tell you, we're on the south side, and like my hero right here, the crusher, we don't throw in the towel. We're gonna come down. People think that we're done. We're not done, baby. We're not throwing in the towel yet on this career. Just wait. You think I got spit on all you guys right now? Just wait till we win, baby. Here we go, it is the final of the Rupinas Raven 250. You have met these drivers. They're gonna come right at you at the start. Everybody's clean on the first lap and that's Bill Black out front early. And he's being chased by Heights and Kamakawa. Bill Black leads as we are getting close to the second half. But right now he's Got about a three-lap lead over Dean Strom and Ev Kamakawa, who are now battling for second place. Good fight there. Joe Heights has struggled uh, with, the, with the power levels on that car, but now has recaptured the full speed of that car. Coming up on halfway, we're expecting pit stops, the CBD racing team, and he's in. Oh, hello, Bill Brock. He's in for his pits. Oh, he was... Uh-oh, uh -oh, there's troubles in Bill Brock's pits. Uh-oh, there... Oh, no, they're going to have to pull the car. His car is crappy. Crappy car. Death a card. He is done. Done. All right, next time around for the Michael Shanket racing driver of number six. Oh, number it's six. Joe. Joe's doing good. He's, uh, what happened to his ring? Oh, he's, uh, he's going to be a little bit faster because he lost weight. But, uh, oh, go, go, go. Clean stop. Holy crap. That was really fast. So with Bill Black out of the way, Ev Kamakawa is two laps clean. Joe Heights and Dean Strom battling for second place. They're on the same lap, and there's a spin for... Strom, wow, what do you what do you think about this whole uh, pit cycle there, uh, hung so low? Oh, it's so crazy. Not seen Death Card in wrong time. It has been. Let's see, who shuffled those cards? Mmm. Mm. It, 60 <laughs> laps to go. I think Kamakawa took out no. Dean Strom. I'm sorry, 85 laps to go. I was way off. Math is not a strong point. I suppose you're very good at math. Oh, very good. <laughs> as long as we're throwing out racial stereotypes. Right, right. <laughs> to go. Thank you. Thank you. Go. You're really off on that whole math thing. <laughs> I don't know why I even bother. <laughs> why am I guessing? There are people who can do that for me. Evan Joe on the same track. That's, that's, oh. uh, 
Is that for the lead? Is that for the lead? It is for the lead. Holy, Holy crap. crap. Look at <laughs> Joe. <laughs> trying to do math. <laughs> but there comes Joe Heights, the pink and black car, and Ev Kamakawa, the red and black car. Yeah, it's honestly. Oh, that's a battle. I think the only thing harder than math is trying to figure out which car is which. He had a spin back there, and oh, and another one threw the uh, corkscrew up there. That allows Joe Heights, who has made tons and tons of finals this season, but has yet to take a checkered flag. This could be the night. Oh, he was he was really complaining earlier. He was, and now you know he's he's helping out with the marshalling. He's really good driving. He's he's really turned over a new reef. <laughs> A reef. Like like in Australia? No, no, from a tree, you know. Oh. <laughs> hey, let me do the math. Okay, do he, the math. He downed a couple wraps. Ah, oh, well, oh and then he crashes. Holy crap. You can't just make, like, generalizations. <laughs> oh, that's how you don't make my mistakes. Oh. Ten. Ten laps. Oh, it's at this point, hung so low when, when a driver hears every nut and bolt that could be rattling around in that car. Oh, the car is creaking. He's a very scared. He's just a heart to beat a pounding a very hard. The final lap. White flag is out for Joe Heights. Joe Heights is your winner, everybody. Hooray! Floodgates have truly opened for Michael Schenke Racing as Heights takes the win. Our winner, Joe Heights, Joe Carnage. Woo! First time this year, man. Woo! Feels really good to finally get that win. I didn't think, honestly, I didn't think I had the car for a win. I felt top four, but. Yeah, halfway, things weren't going that good. I heard a lot of radio chatter. Yeah, they call it bitching, but really the car was just shit. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't running. It was going slow. I thought it was, I thought it was the end, but then Bill got the death card. His car broke down. It died. He, yeah, his uh, car was, he hit the rev limiter in the pits or something. It blew up the mo. I don't know what happened. Now your I team made your car better. The pits. Your car yeah. was better. The, it was great. What do we hear about uh, the weather forecast? Um, I think it's rainy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what happens when it rains too much? It floods. Floods. Floodgates. 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 They're open. The floodgates are going to open. They're wide open today. The same. We're going to bring our track owner, uh, Pete Dorn, with the with the. This is a cool trophy, Pete. man. I won't cut myself on this one. This is proof. Squeaky wheel gets the goose. <laughs> hey. So where are we going next? I'm trying to think what the next race is. But I look at the schedule here. I think we go to Quarry Heights. Quarry Heights is it the D slot race? It's D slot mania. Ooh, that's kind of scary. We'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. The Indy Slot Car Series thanks you for watching the Indy Slot Car Channel. This oh, now, oh. now is 50 raps. Now, okay. we say 50 raps like 50 raps ago. <laughs> Raps? Raps. <laughs> we really need to find different words. 